This is a melodion or melodica or whatever the, uh, they're called by different names in different places. But uh, they're uh, relatively obscure around the U.S. Uh, a guy named John Batiste, who just won a bunch of awards for a movie he did, plays one of these on his videos. You see them. Anyway, it's just a, it, it's a small mouth organ and it uh, comes with a couple different uh, pieces that you poke in the end down here, over here, which that's off camera, but... And you just poke it in the end and, and blow and uh, play it just like a piano. And then it has the uh, long tube, this thing, so either or. And yeah, we got these at a flea market and they're, the keys are a little sticky. I've opened one up before and they're pretty easy to clean. And so I thought we'd go through and clean it and uh, see if we can uh, make it work. But I think between the two of them, we'll get one of them to go. There are four screws on the back. One here, one here, one here, and one there. And the, each of the two end screws holds on an end piece, and that holds the whole thing together. Like that. And in a second, do the other end. and then we have a similar end piece there and we will flip it over take the screws out like that these screws are kind of special and when we put them back in uh, we're gonna have to use this, a little trick to make sure we don't uh, rip out the uh, threads and the plastic they actually have uh, two different levels of thread they have a bigger and a smaller thread but anyway uh, we'll get to that in a bit and then we will pop this out and we have the keyboard like this and we're going to flip it over and the next thing we're going to do is open the air box we got four more screws back here and when we remove this there's a gasket underneath here and you don't want to just go pull this up because if you tear that gasket uh, I haven't had any luck finding a new one. I was going to uh, replace both the gaskets in here. There's one under here, as I said, and then there's one underneath the these uh, keys. And you can see the key valve. When I press like the white key over here, that valve opens and then there's the black key. If, by the way, you remove any of the keys, you need to remove the keys. These springs, you just pop the springs off down here and these springs come in two different uh, tensions and they are two different colors so the black at least on this one the black ones are like a goldish color and the white keys are more of a silver color okay let's get back to it we will uh, continue on opening the air box like that carefully okay this one opened nicely the gaskets stuck to this side and these are the reeds for the different notes and what you do not want to do is bend one of them or damage one of them because yeah then you're kind of done the whole thing's finished uh, so yeah you don't want to like use a cloth that may snag this and pull it up uh, you do not want to uh, use a brush, which may get underneath there and bend the reed. These are really, really touchy about that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go soak it in a bucket of water. And uh, I've used a little bit of laundry detergent in the past, or dish soap, I should say, in the past. And uh, clean it up, rinse it off really, really well. Uh, but yeah, that's what we'll go do next. We'll go stick it in a bucket of water and we'll do the actual washing.
As we begin to reassemble it, the uh, first thing we need to do is assemble the air box. And we put the gasket in here. And again, we want to be really careful, as we said earlier, about getting this thing in here real nicely because I tried to find a whole gasket set for these and absolutely had no luck. So you want to make sure that gasket is laying in the in the groove very nicely and it's not like sticking out somewhere like it is right there. Make sure it's in there. Okay. And that feels good. And we put the cover back on. There's a little bump on this one and it goes over here on this side. Like that. Okay, make sure it's nestled in there. And again, these screws are kind of odd. And what we need to do is, normally if you want to avoid cross-threading something, you back the screw up until it clicks, like it just did. And on these, they can click up to three times before you find that it starts going in very nicely. So, yeah, you shouldn't need more than like two fingers to, to put it in there. And let's see. Uh, try the next one. And, of course, it goes in right away. What are the odds? Again, you may need to do this, back it up, up to three times because of the two different types of... Ah, there it is. So this one is, doesn't want to go in. And yes, it went click, but it's it's resisting. So what I need to do is go backwards, click, and now it turns in there very nicely. So last one over here. Okay, wow, got lucky. Three out of four. And now we want, what we want to do is go along here and snug them all up about the same uh, tightness and then just go back and keep doing it until they're uh, relatively tight. You notice I'm not cranking it down with my using my fist or anything. And you want to get them tight and then what we're going to do is we will test it by attaching the tube and blowing in the input right here and making sure that it doesn't leak. So when all the keys are closed, I will just go, okay, so I have to really blow on that to get any air leakage. So that's, uh, that's good the way it is right there. And the next step is we will get our blue box and that's all cleaned up now and we'll put this into the blue box and screw it back together. We've got the blue outer case and here is where this piece will go. And you just tip this up like this and slide it in under here and it should lay down there pretty nicely. Kind of jostle it around, make sure the screw holes line up like this. This piece will go in here like this. And this piece will go in there like that. We shall flip it back over and replace the bottom screws. Again, the same thing is you want to go backwards till you get that click and then start turning. And this one didn't want to go backwards again and click and now it's going nicely very smoothly and not too much at first I want to kind of do these evenly nope back yes there we go and again on this side same thing our click nope click nope and third time's a charm nope yep there we go 
Okay, tight. 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 And tight. And I've got the keys all cleaned up and ready to go. So let's give it a test. Okay, test all the keys. Looks good.